malaria caused by the plasmodium parasite leads to fever, chills and headaches. In the worst case scenario, malaria kills. In 2021, it claimed more lives in Africa, particularly among children under five, than in any other region worldwide. In Ghana alone, malaria caused the deaths of over 1,500 people from 2018 to 2022. Dr. K. Jamam, who leads the National Malaria Control Program, says they have made more progress in reducing malaria deaths. Last year, we recorded 146 deaths in our health facilities. That's a great reduction from the thousands um, in 2012. So we believe that if we continue the efforts, we even heighten it, we should be able to eliminate malaria deaths. Despite these gains, the number of malaria cases in Ghana has been on an upward trajectory for years rising from 350,000 in 2018 to 438,000 in 2022. So our goal is to eliminate malaria. The first, we have three goals. The first one is to make sure that we have near zero malaria deaths. So that is our main goal of stopping malaria deaths. The second death is to bring 21 districts to the elimination point. The sec that's the second goal. And then the third one is to reduce malaria disease by 50%. So we still have malaria in 2028, but we, we don't want to see deaths in 2028. The Ghana Health Service faces the challenge of distributing limited funds across its many initiatives. Amidst these struggles, the Ecobank Foundation launched the Zero Malaria Business Leadership Initiative, a beacon of hope in the fight against malaria. Spearheaded in Ghana by Ecobank Ghana, Speak Up Africa and the Multimedia Group, this initiative aims to rally corporate organizations to join the battle against malaria, providing crucial support where it's needed most. Dr. Daniel Kasati is the head of marketing and communications at Ecobank Ghana. Uh, from studies, we have come to know how malaria is affecting everything. It's affecting work, it's affecting schooling, it's affecting general health. And if you see its impact, how devastating um, the impact is on even the GDP of nations, it's so amazing. The initiative is now paying off after strategies were switched. Uh, Ecobank um, started with initial seed capital of 120,000 USD and we are working through the private sector participants to mobilize some more funds so that it will be sustainable going forward so we are able to do more things than this. So for now we have disbursed our 120,000 USD in procuring these three line items, the Toyota Hilux vehicle you see here, the digital microscopes and then the electronic tablets. Dr. Insian Poku is the chairman of the Kena Group. As a champion of the Zero Malaria Business Leadership Initiative in Ghana, he says he will leverage on his wealth of expertise to rope in partners to support the program. We can raise funds to malaria control program to help them to try and eliminate malaria in Ghana. Meanwhile, he says his company is working to develop a bivariant vaccine which will be up for clinical trials soon. I'm sure by the end of the year we'll start the clinical trials on that one. It takes about three years for the trials to be over. The Ghana Health Service is impressed with a hefty donation. These um, items donated to us are very good in the sense that it will help fill the gaps that we have in our efforts towards malaria elimination. Um, sometimes health workers need to do outreach, they need to go to the field to do particular interventions, but we, are, we struggle because we don't have adequate transport. We also have um, gaps in our data collection tools, so the tablets um, would really help us in filling those gaps. Like other African countries, the coalition of companies in Ghana aims to raise millions of dollars to fight malaria. With the Toyota Hilux, the microscopes and the tablets, it brings the Ghana Health Service and their partners a step closer to eliminating malaria in Ghana. For Joy News, Michael Ashale.